welcome and thank you very much for checking out my review of My Spy, directed by Peter Siegel and starring Dave Bautista and Chloe Coleman. We follow JJ, a hardened CIA operative who finds himself at the mercy of a precocious nine-year-old girl having been sent undercover to surveil her family. Now this is a film that was set to come out somewhere last year, I don't remember, and just this week, at least in the United States, it was delayed from March 13th to April 13th, much like many other movies who are getting delayed. And I did not enjoy the trailers particularly, I was not excited for it, but I was not dreading it either. However, I found myself really surprised by this film. Let's get the bad out of the way because the bad things about this film are really obvious. This is a very structurally cliched film that you've seen a million times before. Get the notebook about spy movies for kids out of the drawer, take a look at it, and it's basically what they do with My Spy. However, there's genuine energy and passion behind it. Peter Siegel, who has done spy movies before, including 2008's Get Smart, has found this niche, I think. It's spy movies with a comedic edge to it, and the comedy works. This is a funny movie. I found myself really surprised at how well the comedy worked. And not only that, it's heartwarming, it's sweet, maybe sometimes too much, but it feels sincere and genuine in its story. Even though it's been done a thousand times before, and you'll definitely notice it, it feels somewhat without any cynicism. Let's talk about Dave Bautista. The man himself will tell you he's not the best actor in the world. He's not a classic thespian. I followed this dude ever since his days in the WWE. I really like him as a person. I've seen him grow as an actor. He did a really good job in this film. Not only with the comedic stuff, the action stuff, of course, which there isn't actually a lot of it in the film, but the bond he creates with this little girl is actually really good. Their scenes together are really, really funny, they're really heartwarming, and that leads me into the main star of this film, the one that steals the show, Chloe Coleman. This girl is fantastic. She is wonderful. Honestly, I think a lesser child actor would make this film a lot worse and Batista maybe wouldn't have worked without such a good actor on their own right. She is really fantastic. She commands the screen. She commands every scene. You cannot take your eyes out of her. There's this innocence, but then this edge that she has into her that feel so genuine. It feels like she's not even acting, and I loved Every second that I saw her on screen, the banter between these two is really energetic, it's really entertaining, did not get tired of it whatsoever. Even Batista's relationship with his partner, Kristen Schaal, is really entertaining as well. There's an underlying sweetness to this film, an underlying narrative, I'd say, a theme that runs through this film that I don't want to allude to, that I don't want to tell you what it is about, but it really works. The villain in this film is whatever. You don't even feel that much of a threat for him throughout the film. You can tell that that is by design. I personally just wish he could have been more of a character in this film, could have been more of a threat. It would have helped the rest of the film, but again, you can tell it's by design. My Spy is not going to give you a new perspective on the entire world or on your life, but it's just a sweet movie that despite being cliche and very familiar, very run-of-the-mill, it works harmoniously well. I'm giving My Spy a C+. Thank you so much for watching, my beautiful geekies. Check out my reviews for the Clone Wars episode. Check out a podcast I created with my friend Zach Pope, the Geeks of the Roundtable. Check it out over here on my channel or on iTunes or on Spotify. And stay tuned for more reviews to come. I hope to see you there. So until the next one, stay beautiful, stay geeky, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video because it really helps me and the channel out. But most importantly, above everything else, forever and always, love each other and love the movies.